every everyone. Today I will present about the review of solar against forecasting. My name is Wichai Sumoso. For the outline of this presentation, first I would like to show uh, I would like to present about the solar irradiance components. Next is the influence variable of solar irradiance. And next is the nature of solar irradiance, then the benefits of the solar irradiance protection and object of solar irradiance protection. Next is the solar irradiance forecasting model, which are the artificial intelligence, time series, model, numerical weather prediction, and persistence forecast. And the last one is the conclusions. First, for the solar irradiance components, the solar irradiance that is incident on the Earth's atmosphere will be distinct into two types, which are the direct normal irradiance uh, and the uh, diffuse horizontal irradiance. For the direct normal irradiance is the solar irradiance that comes straight from the sun to the earth atmosphere and uh, to the earth surface. As you can see this this thing right is the <coughs> DNI. And the next is if you horizontal if you horizontal irradiance or the diffuse horizontal irradiance is the solar irradiance that scattered from the Earth atmosphere and the form uh, and from the surrounding. And so in this picture, you can see that DHI is the the least strain line. And the summation of the DNI and DHI becomes global horizontal radiance. So the global horizontal radiance is the total amount of the solar radiance from the sun to the earth surface. And the GHI is the variable that we need to forecast in this part. For the inference variable for the solar irradiance, the first is the gas and particle in the atmosphere. For this uh, uh, figure, you can see that the atmosphere can be scattered or uh, can be scattered the solar irradiance. And for next is the cloud wind speed and wind direction that the cloud can be reflected or also scatter and reduce the solar irradiance. <coughs> For the relative humidity and temperature in the air, this means that uh, in the air there will be a kind of the moisture or the like a vapor in the air. So the, the vapor in the air can also uh, reflect the solar irradiance. So this variable can reduce the so the total of the solar irradiance that on the Earth's surface. Next is the nature of the solar irradiance. Uh, for this graph, I think uh, I plot the graph that in the different season, which are hot season, rainy, and winter seasons. And you can see that uh, the graph in hot season, there, there will be a high solar radiance in that season, and the winter and rainy, the solar radiance will be will be low. And in that in that hey, in the noon of the day, there will like kind of like a ripple that we uh, difficult to forecast. The, the, in this in this period, the benefit of the solar radiance forecasting is to improve the energy management and reduce the risk of the uh, instability in power system due to unstable use power generation from solar farms. And next is to reduce the spinning reserve in power system in order to reduce operating costs of power plant and the last one is reduce carbon dioxide emission from conventional power plant. The objective of solar region forecasting is just one just 
uh, one objective is uh, predict turbo horizontal radiance correctly, accurately. We can measure the accuracy of the solar radiance forecast by uh, forecasting forecasting performance index, which are means bad error and good means bad error. For, for the solar radiance forecasting model, we have a four four models which usually uh, used in the forecasting uh, solar radiance forecasting, which are artificial intelligence, arm theory models, numerical weather prediction, and persistent forecast. For the artificial intelligence, in this in this model will be uh, use the machine learning, like a machine learning to learn the pattern of the solar radiance and use the pattern to forecast the uh, solar radiance in the future. For the artificial intelligence, there will be use uh, these two models which are the artificial neural network and a nearest neighbor and may, maybe for, for the artificial intelligence they have more uh, may have more model for the solar radio forecast and the next is for time series time series can uh, is, uh, can classify into two types which are stationary model and non-stationary model and the numerical weather prediction the numerical weather prediction will use the differential equation of the derived from the physical of the meteorological and will be used to forecast the next uh, forecast the solar areas in, in the future. For the persistent forecast, this, this model is the simplest model that is used to forecast the solar area. So this persistent forecast always used to compare with the uh, S1, uh, S1 method. For the conclusion, <laughs> The solar radiance forecast will be, uh, will be have, you, you, you need to know about this before you do the solar forecasting. Thank you.